We're talking about Sony. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to uh, start with a six-minute uh, orchestral prelude to their press conference, but, but they might. Does it even call it a press conference anymore? Because I frankly don't think it should be. Now, yes, last E3, uh, Sony did a press conference, and it was literally sit down, watch trailers, and that's fine. Yeah, that's you know, it's fine. That's, Nintendo, except, Nintendo does it with Nintendo Direct. Yeah, that's kind of what they do. Except when you're having a live conference, you should have some dialogue. Yeah. Micro uh, and so Microsoft did a better conference, in my opinion, in terms of having that, that information yeah. back and forth. But Sony has found a formula that works for them, and that is get the hype train going on games that aren't coming out for years, and a lot of the stuff we have on this list over here are games that were shown off last E3, but have still not come out. Yeah, and one of the the pain thieves have been having is that, you know, big games, these are the big games you've been wanting, but you're not going to see them for two to three years. And But the thing is, the only way that hurts is that if they don't keep on announcing games. Yes. So all it takes is Sony to announce new games coming out two, three, down, two, three years down the line. And that'll be fine. And that'll be, the, and that'll be good. So, uh, I, you know, at this point, all bets are off. Sony can announce games in 2019 coming out, but they'll announce it today, and it's gonna, everyone's going to be so happy. And, and, and I, I, frankly, I might be interested too. So and that's actually, yeah, yeah, yes. And that's actually what they're going to do. Uh, Sony said recently they're going to continue doing what they did last E3, which is just showing off footage. Of yeah, games. they did a lot of their press discussion this week. So they were like, yeah, you know, we sold this many systems. We sold a million PSVRs. Uh, five games are bought per VR. Uh, there, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of oh, smoke no, in the area. Yeah, a lot of discussion. They want to get all that stuff out of the way so that way when their press conference starts. They won't have to talk about any of that. So when you say press conference, I just, I don't know if it's press. I honestly don't. Anyways, let's get to the games. But I'm my... saying God of War. Oh, you're saying God of War. I'm saying God of War. God of War, we started, we started last time, it was like, I mean, 10 minutes, 10, 10 minutes, minutes. A 10 minute demo, and it was, we didn't know anything about the game, we just know you're, you they showed us it. Yeah, I you hunger. Know. I hunger. Kill that deer. Well, we actually, what, you got, you got, you get, you get experience points in the corner, what's that all about? Oh, you're kind of a rage meter that's happening oh, in that, Can that affect the game story? We don't know. Because they the didn't game tell us anything. anything. They had the, the lead director right there playing the game, he, had a, he was on a blast, and then live orchestral. Orchestral the whole time. Um, now, this year, since it, well, I'm assuming God of War is coming out this year, I assume it's coming. I'm assuming we're going to see, of course, a trailer of what's what actually is going to happen in this world. And another gameplay demo. And another gameplay demo. Yeah, it's 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 surprising. You know, actually, we actually didn't. We actually knew about God of War ahead of time. Yeah, it got leaked, leaked. but it got leaked into the screenshots. But we didn't know it was going to be the way it was. Uh, and so it's going to be fun to see where it takes us. Is it open world? Is it story based? Is the that boy always going to be there? And you're always going to be accompanied by a boy. Uh, that's is this Last of Us. Is this the Last of Us? Five or point five or what have you. I don't know. Uh, are the what the other god or the Norse gods? Yeah, going to be like? are we going to see the Norse gods at all in any of these trailers? Or are we and just going to see these guys attacking? And one thing that Kratos is known for is his combat. That's his big thing about his series is about combat. We saw some, but not like surrounded by monsters and to kill all of them. Are we going to see that? Yeah, we've seen little blips. We saw the big fight with the big guy, and we did see uh, attacking two, small guys. two or three guys, but we haven't seen like swarms. So I have a feeling we we'll start to see something like that. More aggressive, um, more action. Will we see any platforming? Like any form of jumping, I don't climbing. think so. I think the game is going to be also more open ended, well, at least a open world yeah. in terms of exploration. But the, but the boy around you, I'm not sure how that's going to play into the narrative. But I definitely want to see more of it to get a better understanding yeah. for it. I don't think it'll open with it. You don't think it will? Open? No, I don't think. I think it'll end it. I think it'll end the show. Now, do you think it'll start with another game that was shown off last E3? And actually, it was shown twice <laughs> in the same conference. Uh, Days Gone. No. I don't think it'll open with Days Gone either. But Days Gone, yeah, I'm. I was confused I'm, I'm why they did that. Days Gone. I was weirded out when they start with it. The, they got this whole emotional trailer and it's Days Gone. Like, okay, what is this last? It, we all thought it was last, last of us. us, but it wasn't. And then they say, okay, we're gonna end with la with uh, Days Gone again. And we go, oh, okay, uh, okay, it looks like the last of us. Then all of a sudden, zombies everywhere. I'm like, guys, I'm sorry, it looks like the Last of Us. I, I <laughs> now the, they say the AI for the horde of, of zombies has a, is very interesting and, yeah. and it chases you for miles. But they have to find a way to show that to us because yeah. otherwise, I just kept yelling at the guy, "Stop shooting at him! You're not winning. Run!" And he never would, and he wouldn't yeah. listen. Why can't they hear me? The television screen. Well, the te I don't know. The television screen and the internet. You, they should really be allowing that sort of interaction. Between a Twitch plays. A uh, Twitch, Twitch plays. If you your conferences. There'd be a lot of A's and looking at the Helix Fossil a lot. <laughs> um, so, Days Gone, I'm, I wasn't convinced when I saw it. I wasn't really convinced when I first saw it, or the second time I saw it. So, hopefully they can leverage Days Gone. They said they're going to be showing it in a big way, so I expect another demo. Uh, I expect uh, a lot of zombies. Hopefully it's not two times again. Yeah, hopefully just the one. Just the one's fine, guys. 
Uh, I already had made my opinion by the time that demo was that demo had been halfway through. Uh, but it could be good. And the next game on our list is Gran Turismo Sport. You know, we have this on this list all every time, and I don't think we've actually seen it at a press conference. Is it even a real thing? It's supposed to be. I thought this would be a Gran Turismo game in development, but this is not the game I think that we were supposed to see in development. I, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe it's for the VR? I, I don't... Uh, the VR would be a good way to show it. I don't know, guys. Better than showing nothing. I need... We need to see... Uh, we're expecting it. We're expecting. Because... But, the, uh, what else can we expect? You guys have an hour and change to show us every game you've got in development. You... you you've... Showing games that are... That are just started. You literally sketch... A, sketch pieces of paper. And this is the game we're making, guys. And you have sports sitting here not being shown at all. So, so I, don't I don't know what's wrong with that game. Or what's happened to that game. Yeah. I'm hoping it's still there. It's turned into a Need for Speed. Maybe it's the new Gran Turismo 7 or whatever. <laughs> Gran Turismo 7 remake? Yeah. Oh, oh wait. There's, there is a Gran Turismo <laughs> No, it's not so much I know. Another game we want to see more of is Spider-Man. Yeah, I mean, this is the game that's been developed for a while. We saw it last year with a 30-second teaser. Now's the time to get, you know... Full around the details, guys. I mean, the movie's coming out, so let's get the game going. It's the hype moving forward. Yeah, I mean, we know it's not following the movie canon. It's no. It's supposed to be it's a brand new... It doesn't follow movie. anything except for its own stuff. Yeah, though it's probably looking like it's using a bit of the eye, the eyes, like a little, little bit, a little bit, a little bit of the uh, the design, but a little different. Too. You know, one thing I want to see. Yeah, villains. Yeah, I don't want to see cronies. I want to see like Doc Ock or the Vulture or. Whoever is I mean, the game going to be like Spider-Man Two, there you go. where you get to where it actually like knows where you're going when you're launching your your uh, web. Is it open world? Is it mission based? Are you going to be able to deliver pizza? Are you going to save a child or collect balloons? I'd like to know. Why do you got to save pizza? Now I'm hungry for pizza. Well, I mean, it, it, it's don't be hungry for pizza. Be hungry for your hot pocket. <laughs> no, or to, to, Totino's. But the point is that we want a Spider-Man footage. We want more Spider Spider-Man. We want stuff. to actually know what the game is, other than just uh, CG trailer. I think 2018 yeah, wasn't is, CG, but yeah. either way, I think I want more. Yeah, they were showing very little of it last year, and I think 2018 is on the is on the cards. But they can release it this year if they really push it. Uh, so it'll be fun to see where it goes. You know what game I'd like to see? Detroit. Or, Detroit. I'm oh, sorry, let me rephrase that. You know what movie I'd like to see? <laughs> Detroit. <laughs> it's a very good interactive movie. Yes. Um, we've seen this developer. They've done uh, Heavy Rain in the past. That was the last and game released. And it, I like those games. It's a cool little narrative we're moving on with. Um, I'm curious to see where Detroit goes, though, because it's going to because they're, they're claiming they're, they're claiming there's a ton of different places to go, a lot of different, different endings to go. Does that have, how much more broad is this game in terms of scope? Yeah, because I mean, what we saw in the trailer last year was this kind of one scenario. It was a one scenario, very tight locked. The question is: Is this a good game where that is like an episode, and you're playing across like like thirty episodes, or is it like more in line with what you did in this one will interact the next five that you do? And I mean, what we brought up down the road, well, well, that that person remember, he'll remember this, he'll remember this. <laughs> tell 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 games, she will be making this game. Um, but as far and I it didn't, it didn't end right. The whole point was this is my story. He didn't need to say that at all. But yeah, that, that's the gimmick though. They already had in the first trailer. Yeah. They've had two characters at least unveiled. Uh, as playable characters, so I think they're gonna have more. I like to see it go further than that. They're probably gonna show a trailer. Of course, uh, that's what the first one was. Now the question is, they're gonna actually show a demo, and I'm not sure they will. I don't think that plays well for the game. I don't think uh, that's more of a game you have to be a part of. Yeah, be invested. Will it come out this year? You ask the hard questions. I ask the hard questions. I will remember this. No, Tony will remember this. <laughs> they remember this. Um, I don't think it'll be out this year. No. Okay. What I do think will be out this year, yeah, is the new Uncharted. Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Yes. So there was God of War was the introduced game at, at E3. E3. This was the game that was, they debuted at PSX. And once again, Sony likes to kind of hint at the game without showing it to you. Until and then they, they go, ha! Ah, now you know what it is! You didn't believe me! It's Uncharted! And now this originated as DLC. Yes. And it got so big for it that it was like, you know what, we can't, we gotta sell it. <laughs> We gotta sell it. We gotta and, sell DLC. Too, and so it's point. selling for like it's gonna sell for like forty dollars. It's yeah. not gonna be as long as the Uncharted as a mainline Uncharted game, but it's, but still gonna, be it's big. gonna be big. Um, and apparently, if you bought the season pass before it was announced, I think was you get it for the twenty bucks. I think. Yeah. I think that was it. Um, for me, I have to see more of it. I mean, literally, it was just one segment there, um, which once again, very kind of like. Yeah, you're moving around. We're not really showing much the way of variety. We're just moving in a linear path the whole game. 
Uh, well, a, like, a vertical, almost like a vertical, horizontal slice of the game. <laughs> vertical, a slant. A we slant. got a slant slice. We got a half slice. I want to see what how this game is taking off. I want to see a trailer, seeing what they're what they're doing, what the characters are going to be doing, what kind of combat. Yeah, gonna where be. does it really stand out? Because it's obviously developed by Naughty Dog. Yeah. So the question is, what is Naughty Dog going to be showing? Is it going to be uh, just Uncharted, where you're playing as different people in different environments, or is it going to be completely ga different gameplay wise? Yeah. That's what I want to see. You know, it would be more like stealth elements to it. Uh, again, I have no idea how yeah. it's going to be. It's costumes. I just, that's why I want to see more of it. Do you want to see more of Knack 2? Not really. I think I've got enough of that. Uh, <laughs> <'cause>, <laughs> <'cause>, <laughs> because that uh, that game was unveiled at, P uh, at uh, E3 or PSX? PSX. Well, guess what? It's time. Knack 2 is going to be out this year. That's what I'm assuming. Yeah, definitely out this year. Um, it looks better than the first one, but when, I'll be honest, when they first played it, I didn't know it was different. <laughs> I'm looking at the trailer. I'm like, wait, why, why are they playing? Are we seeing why are we seeing that? It's like a, like a definitive edition, but it's on the PS4 already. I was completely confused. And then, and they, they saw the then I saw the blue, the, I saw the blue uh, Knack and Land next. So I'm like, I still didn't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm still not sure, guys. I'm still not sure. I'm still not until sure. I saw that too for confirmation. They're like, okay, uh, okay, it's new. Uh, now I've been told that a lot of stuff is new that we saw in the trailers, but since I didn't play the first one, I don't know. Yeah, um, Knack two. We'll probably have a story trailer, and that'll be as yes. Far as it goes. Um, and I mean, maybe it'll be better than the first one. I heard the first one was just basically just a beat 'em upper, a beat 'em upper, yeah, beat 'em upper, beat 'em up game. And this one looks like it may have some more platforming, more diversity in the gameplay. That might make it worth. That'll it probably make more. it better than just being a straight beat 'em up. Yeah. So, so it's very difficult for children in this game, apparently. Well, maybe it'll be an easy mode for you. Here's a game we haven't heard in a long time: Dreams. Dreams is what is Media Molecule working on? They're working on dreams. Like I think that's what they, maybe they sleep all day. That's why they're getting it done. I, guys, guys, you gotta wake up. You gotta, guys, you guys, I, dreams is a real I thing. I saw an you alien. Gotta, you gotta and wake his up. Was Joseph. And you go into this giant, this giant guy playing piano. Every time they show up, dream. I know less about it. It doesn't make any sense. I don't understand so, dreams. So dreams is supposed to be this sort of interactive. Movie game maker. You make what is it supposed to be? Draw, obviously, obviously. Yes, tell me, please. Let me, let me. You're yeah. supposed to be able to draw these models in okay. 3D. Mind this is important. And you draw them and you make them like have legs and stuff, so they move the way you want them to. And then you either animate them like if they're in a movie, and then film essentially, or you can give them game-like properties and then turn, make a game out of them. So it's basically the sequel to Little Big Planet, except it's. Way more robust, and there's no grounding for it. Exactly. So, we're like, oh, we have a sock boy, and then we can put things around it, and like, like make like toys and stuff. So that way, yeah, there, that's grounded. But there, no grounding, no, no sock boy, no S sock boy. Oh, sorry, sack boy. Is it sack boy? Sack boy. Sack boy. Sack boy. No sack boy. There's no sock boy. There's no sock. There you go. I don't know what dreams are. I don't know. So frankly, I don't know what dreams. Don't let really your dreams be to. dreams. Well, let's go. Just yeah, do it. Yeah, I hope they release Just the game. Just release it. I release it. I hope they release the game. I hope they're I'm worth concerned for Media Molecule's future if this it's game is like all they're working on. Five years. No, it's been like three at least. Ma I, think I, I think they announced when the PS4 was announced. Uh, yeah, so about, about, they're about four years. It's, it's been about four, four years. Four years. It better release soon. It better come out soon. <laughs> this game is also taking a long time to come out, but then again, it just started development. Yes, and it could take years later. We're talking about Death Stranding. Oh, sorry, uh, a Kojima, Hideo Kojima no, production. No, it, it, a Hideo Kojima game, Death Stranding. Uh, yes. I'm uh, gonna. I, by the way, I'll say it. The trailer's been pretty cool. The trailer's been the trailer's pretty, been pretty, cool. pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, this I don't even know what the game is. I like that more than Dreams. The most, the most expensive game in the world, uh, Death Stranding. Getting actors and based on what I've heard from about Hideo Kojima, Kojima, he really wants to make this an art piece. Like, he really wants to make this be a. But the question is, what's the game? I don't know. What's, what's the game? game? Um, I'm hoping for a new trailer, obviously. Everyone's excited. Everyone's waiting that. that. Uh, but I'm also hoping for a little bit of gameplay. Maybe a little bit of None. Switching. We're not getting a, a hint of gameplay. New character, PSX. new people, new actors getting New announced. actors are going to announce. But we're not going to see any PSX stuff. Oh, no, we're not going to see any gameplay footage until PSX. And that's going to be a 2018 or 2019 no, game. No, a 2019 game. It's going to be quite, it's, it's quite far in the distance. But hey. It's Death Stranding and it's Hideo Kojima. So we'll see some craziness. And before you know it. Theories will be blowing out our heads, wondering what's going on. How about From Software was uh, making a new game? Is it Bloodborne 2? No, it's a game supposedly in development called Phantom Whale. Uh, Bloodborne 2? No, no, no. Put your hand down. Put your thoughts down. Okay. And think about Phantom Whale. All right. Um, Not the whale from Metal Gear Solid 5. Okay. And in pain. No. <laughs> this is Phantom Whale. 
Uh, it could be a spiritual successor to Bloodborne. Maybe. It might be, but no, it's not. Um, the game's supposed to be developed, uh, that was announced by the director. Not the, not the game, but it was kind of hinted at. Uh, the director of Bloodborne and whatnot was saying, like, hey, we're making a new game. It's kind of like it, but it's not a sequel. It's something new, but in the vein of action adventure game, much like Bloodborne. But it's going to be really hard. And yeah. Does. So, so it's going to, again, I'll say it again, a spiritual successor to Bloodborne, but not Bloodborne 2, but a new theme, new story, new concept. Yeah, so it's actually the same game mechanics of the Souls games that we know and love, but it's going to be a little bit more... Because they finished Dark Souls. like that's, the, the Dark Souls series is done. Uh, we, so this will be the next Dark this, Souls this series. It, kind of. But it's not going to be published by Namco Bandai, though it might be. It's hard to say. But it is coming to PS4. That was important. And that's what Phantom Whale supposedly is rumored of being. I put it on this list because... From Software seems to be pretty tight with with, uh, releases. with with releases for Sony, and so I wouldn't put it against them to have announcements like this be unveiled at this E3. It would be a pretty nice unveiling, and I'm sure everyone will be hyped to see it. Uh, and Bloodborne was announced three E3s ago, so I think it's about Yeah, time that, that sounds about right. So Bloodborne 2, Phantom Whale, gotcha. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> you know what? Speaking of 2, what won't be there is The Last of Us Part 2. You really think so? It won't be there. If it's there, I don't know why. It was announced uh, at PSX. It was the last, like, little... Here's your one last thing. Yeah. And, people, and good trailer. But then, they're like, he, he even said... Sean Layden even said, this game is super, super early. early. They just wanted to have this thing shown to you to showcase it. It's not coming out for some time. If it, if it does get shown, it's going to be another tr teaser trailer. Yeah, it's not going to be gameplay. They're not going to have any gameplay to show. If it is, it's going to be a, definitely a vertical slice. Yes. Uh, the game will very likely Those be... Those vertical slices. Yeah, it'll probably be a late 2018 title or 2019 title, for all I know. Yes. All I, but from my understanding, based on what, the way he phrased it anyways, you know, he could be defe deceiving us. The game is super early, and so we're not going to get a real confirmation of game releases. We've got plenty of other games coming out in the very near future. And the list is still got more games on it. We've still got more games to talk about. I don't think Last of Us Part Two has a purpose to show at this event, at a specific point in time. That's just my thought. Mm -hmm. So, I thought this was actually shown last year. We actually had it last year as a guess. But Sucker Punch hasn't released a game in some time. Sucker yeah. Punch did the, the Infamous, Infamous series. Yeah. So the last game that came out was the DLC, the fir fa uh, the First Light or whatever. Something like that, yeah. That came out like... Three, two, two, three, two, three, two, three years ago, I think it's time we see something new. I think another, something new. I could, it could be another infamous game. It could be. Or it could be a brand new IP. Either way, Sucker Punch has been working with Sony, and I think it's not going to to change face right now. I think now is the time for them to show a new IP. And that would be a great way to showcase, to, to start the, the show, in my opinion, too. Because they always like to show, uh, they, the last new two idea. events, they've been showcasing a new game that they haven't unveiled yet at the start. And what better way to start it? than with Sucker Punch IP. Well, they could start with a new VR game. They could talk... They, That's they, what's why we're right next. Next, <laughs> next is a, a new PSVR game, and this is not like a small, like small, yeah. smaller project. It's like a big project they want to make. Yeah, I mean, people have been speculating that Santa Monica, I think, has been working on... Sony Santa Monica has been working on a v, PSVR game. A complete game. Like, like Resident like Evil stuff. and, and yeah. possibly Fallout. Yeah, I, I, think, I think that would be a, a pretty solid announcement, because... Notice up to this point we haven't mentioned PSVR pretty much at all. Uh, I didn't realize it, but now that you mention it, um, PSVR has been out for over just about six months now, and there's signs of questionable support at this point. Like, are we going to get anything from Sony anymore? And this is the opportunity. I'm concerned if they don't announce anything for PSVR. If they don't ask, if they don't announce anything for VR, I will. I'll be like, can I get Rift? I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, so I think it's a good opportunity for them to announce a new IP, or at least more PSVR support of games, whether third party or otherwise. But I really now want Sony to step forward and they, say we are confident in this product to make something big for they it. They did announce a game at at the PSX for, but it was one game. It was like a battle. It was game. it was a battle game. Yeah. But we're talking about like a full fledged first play, uh, single first single player, person game, yeah, yeah, single player game, something immersive that actually makes sense of it. By the way, I wonder if No Man's Sky will fall into a VR. Uh, announcement. I think they're going to stay far away from that as possible. <laughs> I think No Man's Sky is going to stay as far away as possible from us. I feel I feel bad, but at the same time, like they kind of rushed out the door and they made way too many promises they couldn't keep. Well, I'm just th I'm just, I'm just thinking, you know. Okay. Now let's talk about some third party games because Sony's right now in a position where third parties love them. Yeah, Capcom especially. Capcom still made a lot of deals with them. Yeah, I mean, we have support for Street Fighter Five, so they're going to announce more stuff from them. They got. So, so far, rumors and discussion has apparently been that Devil May Cry 5 is ready to be shown, and should be shown, at this E3. 
And also, uh, another fighting game they're working on, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, which uh, could be announced anywhere, frankly. But I think that because of their relationship with Sony at this point, that will be like, after Street Fighter V, they'll be like, hey, we have another fighter coming out. You know what it is! And they'll showcase... Uh, and, uh, There's another Marvel's rumor a game, rumor of a game in development, but it's probably not going to be shown until Tokyo Game Show if that rumor is true. true. And that, that was the Monster Hunter 5. Yeah, I had actually had written that down, and then I said, wait a minute, Alex, why would they want to announce... Monster Hunter 5 to PS4 before they even release the Switch version of Monster Hunter Double Cross, which would be the most Capcom thing they to do. want to double cross it? Uh, no, so no. I'm assuming that if they're going to announce it, it's going to be sometime in the fall. Yeah, after they've released After it, they've yeah. released Double Cross for the Switch. But that's, I mean, yeah, Capcom seems to be pretty much just like, here's a, it has a lot of exclusives for Sony. Yep. And, and that seems to be Definitely. the, oh, you the know trend. What? Did they ever release the Resident Evil 7 DLC yet? No. So that they would, could show that. They, they could show that off as well. So Capcom would take like a, could take a solid five ten minutes of their show if the show if they really and wanted. And maybe to. Yeah, maybe even Resident Evil Two remake, which I didn't even list here. And I forgot about it until just now. Well, now you now I I reminded you. Jeez, you're going ahead and just make it so much cooler than it already was. <laughs> Let's move from Capcom <laughs> to Square, Square Enix. Enix, who also loves. Sony. Yeah, they have pretty much everyone with Sony. Anyway, Square Enix, they not only have Kingdom Hearts 3 they could showcase, yeah, they could. they're not they showing could. Final Fantasy VII. No. Why would they show that? I dare you <sighs> I to show it. I feel bad for that game because it, it they, they announced it way too early. And now they're kind of like bringing it inside because apparently CC2 can't develop it or fast enough. Um, also, uh, I didn't list it here, but Eidos has some games, I'm sure. Uh, I think it would be opportune time to hint at a Marvel game in development. Because that would be a fun thing to see. Like, hey, we're not. Ma- you got you got Spider Man, but what about Iron Man or something? Oh my God, Iron Man open world. I, I just game. I just made. Yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah, like just cause, but with but with uh, <laughs> but with Tony Stark. There you, there you go. go. I just I just made it cool. <laughs> <laughs> I just made a good one. Uh, EA will probably be there to showcase Battlefront Two. Much to our chagrin. Again, we'll be like, oh no, again. not the same trailer again. again. Yeah. Uh, and Activision will be there to showcase Call of Duty World War II. Uh, I don't know if they're going to show a, a demo uh, or they're going to show well, just a teaser. Trailer. I'm going to go by the trends of E3, and they will. Because yeah. every E3, whether it was at Microsoft, well, maybe it was Microsoft's conference, they always had something for Call of Duty. Yeah. And I'm, it's because right now, with good with Sony right now, that's what we're going to see. Gonna see it. We're going to see that again. Also, Destiny 2. You, I guarantee it. Destiny 2 will have a blowout. They won't, they, I don't think they'll have a full demo, but they'll definitely show a large trailer being like, exclusive stuff to Sony first! And in fact, that might be one of the few times that someone walks on stage to talk about it. So the theme, uh, so what's going on with uh, Sony, will be games. I, 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 where else are we going to go? Yeah, it's, my, my, well, Sony, we got the games you want. I mean, Sony, now and later. This is like Sony, yeah, essentially Sony the victory lap. This is Sony going, Woo, we you got everybody's support! Yes, yeah, so Sony saying, you don't need to worry about anything else. Don't make the switch. Don't look at Scorpio. Instead, stay with Sony. Yeah, and actually, they did say to go for Switch. They said Switch is a good, good <laughs> That's not what you were meant. You but, but the point being is, they don't want you to look at Scorpio. They don't want you to, to move those systems because you frankly could just buy all the games you want here. Hopefully, in the next two years. Now, of course, if Sony it doesn't push the VR and Microsoft pushes the VR, that might hurt them there. So, but, so I really hope Sony talks about VR because they just released a VR thing. Yeah. But um, in terms of entirely, it's going to be don't buy. You're right. But don't buy a Scorpio. We got all the games you want to play. Yeah, and of course the game system's even going to have you on sale temporarily for a week, yes. which is I think a so definitely a Sony thing to do uh, to announce to be like, hey guys, this week two fifty. To be fair, Microsoft did that during the holiday season one year, and then they didn't they didn't remove the price. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> so uh, all a little right. different there. Um, so um, now so for big, big, big games. Big games. What do you think? Is, what do you think is the big game? Tony? Um, I. Personally, think that uh, I think a Spyro remake would be nice if they if they can do that. Yeah, the same thing they do with the Crash Bandicoot. Do all three Spyro games. That would be that would be really tight. Now, mine is a bit controversial. Oh, yes, because What's yours. Mine is that uh, based on a rumor. I'm following these rumors, guys. I'm, I'm listening in. What is it, Tony? You don't. You, Sony's nobody gonna, else here. Sony's going to release a new console, whether it's a handheld or otherwise. That can also be hooked up to your television. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Yeah, it sounds like a, like something Nintendo did, like Nintendo Switch. Or the rumor goes is that Nintendo that, that Sony is working on something similar to the Nintendo Switch, um, but it's a PlayStation Vita that basically can be hooked up to your television and you can play on your TV. It's basically a mix between PS, the PlayStation Television sir, uh, the box they used to have, but with also with Vita, allowing you to do both instead of having the separation of 
powers, as it were. It'd just be one device. And they'll push it as, it's your console experience on the go. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's going to be done here. I don't know if they, I don't think it'll work. That, that, again, I'm just saying it based on that rumor, but that is my big, my yeah, big they're, thoughts. They're already, big, yeah. It's not what I want. <laughs> It's what I think is going to happen. You think, you think they're going to have a time to even announce a product like that? I don't know. Um, if I wanted to do something that is something I want from Sony, jumping, ju jumping Jack Flash, <laughs> jumping Jack Flash would be Goldberg in a first person shooter. No, no, ju ju uh, jumping Flash. Jumping Flash. Jumping Flash being rebrought back would be would be pretty sweet. That that would and put in VR. There you go. That that's my book. Crazy right itself. game. New York Times best selling book. All right, we're done with Sony. After Sony, Monday happens, and we, we will have that, That's it, and Monday's done. Monday's done, and then we we'll go to sleep and wake up. And it's Tuesday, just in time for Nintendo. So we'll get to Nintendo right now, or next, or whatever. Ne the next video. The next video.